It would help if I unmuted things. Oh man, there's a shame put a pumpkin back there, but you can't see it because of the microphone. Let me, let me move the microphone just for a moment. Look at that pumpkin guy. Look at him. He hanging out. He hanging right out. We're playing Fire Emblem today. I kind of moved the mic into a different position, as you can see. Uh, I felt like I was leaning forward and hunching over too much because uh, I was like trying to get to the mic. Um, hopefully this will stop me from doing that and I'll sit up straight. We'll see. <laughs> There's not a whole lot to go over. Last time we only did one chapter because I just got my butt kicked over and over and over again. Uh, still mystery of our mom still have the mystery of the pendant uh we're about to meet the um beast king i believe so yeah let's do it i think we micromanaged everything already so let's just check the support yeah there's no conversation so we can have Excuse me, I was not ready to read. Pounding a bunch of hot coffee in your hot apartment is not a good idea. I feel like I'm sweating bullets. All right. This place brings back such memories. It hasn't changed in the slightest. Tatiana has been here before. Have you been to Galia before? Ike, please. Long time ago, when I was still a knight of Crimea. I volunteered for a military officer exchange program and spent some time studying at Galia's royal palace. I get it now. That's why you weren't surprised when we saw the Lagoos. That's right. I miss the sea. When the setting sun strikes the water, it's almost as if the horizon itself is on fire. Hmm. Now I think about it. My father knew where that old castle was. You sure acted like someone who'd been to Galia before. Was he here with you? Mm-hmm. And we weren't the only ones. You've been here too, Ike. What? What? Ike? It's Mordecai. We better answer him. Yeah, but... We can finish our talk later, after we've reached the castle. Well, that was cryptic. <laughs> Ike. Yeah, welcome to Fire Emblem, Ike. What is it, Mordecai? Do you tire? Should we rest here? No, I think we're all right. Good. He's just worried about us. Bitrock rock are such a weak species. A distance like this is nothing. Any lagoos with this, worth its claws could cross it in a single bound. Leith. Hm, it's the truth. If you persist in this way, you will shame the king. You sound like a fool. You are my subordinate. Never speak to me in such way. What's wrong is wrong. You're a fierce warrior when it comes to the beat rock. You are far too stubborn. What did you say? Come on, both of you, calm down. Mordecai. Wait. What is it? Smell in the wind. It's iron. Smell of weapons. Smell of Bjork. Heavily armored. Well armed. Are you sure? General Kotef. The Crimean mercenaries have entered our area of operations. Haha, <laughs> they're trapped. Call every last man. Ready for battle. We stop the enemy here. Huh. Black armor. The Dayan men, alright. 
You're saying that some sort of invasion force is still around? Damn worms. They strut about Gallian for forests as though they own them. I won't stand for it. Grr. The castle to the south. Many Bjork are inside. They carry iron weapons. I smell them. Not good. Tatiana, gather everyone together. Understood. What now? What do you mean? If you hope to crush the worms, you'd do well to capture the ruins in the south. Since you probably want to flee, there is an escape route. We're going to fight. Oh? There are times when running has its advantages, but I don't think we'll lose here. I see. I will also fight. Good, we could use the help. Ike, everyone's here. Alright, let's go. I want you to take... I want you two to take Mist and Rolf to retreat into the rear, of course. But kind of need to be careful. Everyone who can fight, grab a weapon. This is like the fifth time they're like, now we're gonna fight! Ground mercenaries, move out. Yep. Yep. Okay. Let's check out the map. So... Soldier, 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 pirate. He has a weird axe. Venom axe? Um, so we can stop at this house and we can stop at this house. Uh, we do want to take the castle. Man, we need an archer real bad. Uh, conditions. Okay, so we win when we seize. Okay. Everyone's deployed. Okay. Um, I kind of wanted to, uh, let's check items. Oh, we, we figured all this stuff out already. I kind of want to do one thing. Uh, not support. Manage? No. Outfit. So. Shop. Forge. Okay. I was thinking about like like we could take like what if we did something nuts? Like what if we just got nuts? Like, crazy critical, low weight. Like, forge, forge something crazy. I don't know if this is going to work. And we are not going to save it pre-battle. Because I just want to... I kind of want to see if it's going to work. Oh, we can give it a name. All right. Um, what should we call it? Crit City. Uh, 
<laughs> How about the color? Oh, can we change the color? Oh, we can change the color of the blade. Okay, we're gonna try it out. We spent a lot of money on it. I hope it's good. I don't actually know what the um, I don't actually know what the uh, weight and hit do. Like, I don't know what all the stats do for the swords, but I assume critical just boosts the critical like crazy. So, um, let's give it a shot. Uh, let's fight. Yeah, let's go. Ike, missed. You and Rolf clear out of here. Stay back no matter what. No, Ike. We're gonna fight with you, both of us. What? No, it's not gonna happen. Be serious, miss. Two of you can't even wield weapons. I've got this. A heal staff? Yeah, I made Reese teach me how to use it. I can heal injuries. I mean, little ones, but still. Little ones, there's no way I'm letting you on this battlefield. Huh? Rolf, stop being a brat. I'm gonna fight too. I'm good with a bow. Oh, we have an archer now. Really? That's news to me. Best lie you could come up with? It's no lie. He's not lying. Of course he is. What are you talking about, Mist? Rolf's always practicing with his bow. He's really good. I sure am. When did you use... And when did you learn to use a bow? Well, let's see. I guess I just sort of picked it up naturally. Stop lying, you booger-eating brat. Oh my god. <laughs> Called him booger-eating. You can't just pick up a we weapon and start firing away. Someone has to teach you. Maybe I'm a prodigy, because I learned it all by myself. You little... You don't know anything, Boyd. That's right. This is ridiculous. Enough, you two go back. No, we don't want to. All we're going to do is sit and wait and worry. We're tired of waiting. We want to fight. Is that so? How about it, Ralph? Feel like that too? Mm-hmm. No doubt. Sigh. What now, Commander? We take him with us? We're too pressed for time to sit around here bickering. Really? Because it seems like we're doing a lot of that. And at least, uh, they're no it, at least if they're nearby, it'll be easier to protect. Are you serious? Yes. You won't regret this. I hope not. Nope. Miss level one, Rolf level one. Rolf's bow. Okay. Alright, these are like our first encounters, so let's light them up. We could be using the shove command more. We can't control them. Can't shove while on horseback. Oh, they're gonna lure him in. And maybe kill them?
We'll see. By the way, what is it? If there's some special task you would ask of us, we are willing to listen. What are you talking about? Open your ears. If you wish it, we shall follow your orders. But you must direct us. You're willing to take orders? It's a, this is a B-Rock fight. If you don't direct us, then we have no reason for being here. We so spoke our king. The last night you... That was an emergency. We thought you were in danger. You thought correctly. We were in danger. I thank you. Uh, we were greatly aided by your arrival. You're welcome. Hmm. Very well. Let's fight together. So much talking. If you choose not to direct us, we shall do as we please. Do you find this acceptable? Of course. Man, everybody's chit-chatting. All right. Crit City, let's go. Crit 18. Maybe? It did not work. can't I can't move them oh they have a certain level of huh there's like a little meter with like a little cat face I think that's how long they have to till they can transform or something nice I'll take it. Oscar's a good dude. He deserves it. Um. Hold the line, I guess. Who's here? Ike? Move her here. Let's move everybody else up. I can't even get at this fool. We're gonna move her in the way. So we can kind of lure him out. Um... I thought Miss could heal. Does she not? Is she not hurt? She's not hurt. <laughs> For some reason, I thought she got hurt. Uh, two new recruits. Yeah, yeah, beard broken. Uh, well, maybe. I, wait. Oh, man. We got to get Ike to talk to them, huh? Is that how we get to use them? Ugh. I'm such a dingus. We'll get, we'll talk to them. We'll talk to them. Is today Sunday? <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. I, I'm working on, um, 
a book called uh, uh, World of Krypton right now with uh, Michael Avon Oming and hey wait 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 I just keep moving guys up but we can take a pot shot go Rolf you're a champion Um, yeah, so I'm working on World of Krypton, uh, for DC, and, uh, it's a Michael Avon Oming book, and it's tough doing first issues, uh, because you're kind of shaping the whole world, and the way, the way he works, and the way, uh, yeah, they have to talk to Ike, yeah, I totally missed that, um, Rolf is trying to be Katniss. Uh, so, the way uh, everybody's working on that project is it's not a very standard kind of book. It's like a very artistic, we're trying a lot of different things. Um, and uh, it just took a long time. <laughs> it took like two days extra from what I thought it was going to do. If we talk, we can still... Wait, what? Order? No. Direct? No. Uh, I am trying to get to the beach houses, but... I do want to like talk to can I not talk to I'm gonna try to get to the beach houses these guys are doing whatever the hell they're doing you can only order them huh yeah I was gonna go up not control them, huh? Hmm. Okay. Next level, you get to actually control them. Yeah. All right. Well. I hope they don't die. Like, are they just going to keep pursuing in this direction? Do we need to, like, get to the beach as quickly as possible? Like, should I hustle up there with mounted units? Maybe. Oh, but it's barely used at all. I suppose I can t I can tell them to halt, right? Yeah, I can order them to avoid the enemy. Uh Wait, can I not? Oh, that's Boyd. <laughs> I was like, why can't I attack that guy? Um, okay. I gotta figure out how we're breaking the troops up here. We've got like ranged units. I'm, I missed the chance to tell them to stop. Sorry, I'm getting used to new mechanics. Yeah, they're just they're just going buck wild. The pirates will burn the house if they get there. Oh my god. I already want to restart. 
I feel like I'm goofing this up. She's already killing more people than I necessarily wanted. The house is burning. All right, all right, look, look. Look, we're starting fresh. We also, we did a thing that I don't think is actually smart. Uh, we made a super slim high critical sword for uh, Mia and it didn't seem like it even really helped that much. So it was also real expensive. So yeah. All right, let's uh, let's try to be quicker about this. Didn't order. Me is an okay swordsman. Uh, the biggest advantage is just being the first one. Yeah. Yeah, I was trying to make her, cause I always thought the. Um, what is she, a Mer Meridian or whatever? Mirden? I don't even know what the... She's something. Uh, Mirmidden? Mirmidden? I don't know. Whatever. I always thought that, like, she... You know, I'm trying to give her a sword to, like, play to her strengths. You prefer somebody else I get later. We're going to try to get um, mounted units just rolling right out. She's an Achilles. Uh... Oh, the pirates are moving. All right. We're just gonna pop on over here. Might have to kill that guy. It's tempting to use, uh, Boy, get it. It's time to use Oscar to stop and fight one of these guys, but I don't think I'm going to do that. Direct. Roam. Halt. I'm going to say avoid. Okay. Where can these guys go? I might have to fight one of them. Mist is in danger. This is this is how you get caught up. It's how you get caught up fighting idiots. Unless we just ignore them. Let me just pull mist back. Mirrodin. It's weird that it's pronounced Mirrodin because uh, there's a thing in Magic the Gathering called Mirrodin and it's not spelled remotely similar. <laughs> G 
get it, Ike. Hammer time! Does anybody say that anymore? Is that just me? Probably shouldn't have said it. Usually go across the beach? I didn't think that was an option. I didn't think you- oh, you can go backwards across the beach. Huh. Huh. None of these guys could get close to hit this this idiot. Uh, well. Embleming those fires, of course, of course. As I do, weekly. Um... Well, I guess uh, team idiots over here, they're, they're gonna roll in. really didn't want Tatiana to be like, hey, I'm spearheading this operation, but here we are. That pirate's just got to die. Oh, no. Oh, it's fine. What? Not great. Not great. Oh my god, am I not going to be able to catch him? Oh my god, this is a disaster. What? This is all a disaster? Do I get half run speed on sand? Is that a thing in this game? It is a thing in this game. Okay, look, look, video games, look. Look. Let's go, let's go. Man, I said no resets, but here's, okay, here's my justification for, for doing resets. I haven't played this one before, so if we're playing casual, I'm going to be able to reset it, reset it sometimes. Yeah, I don't think, uh... I don't think I can catch the pirate if I don't go through the back, which I didn't even realize was an option. It 
This guy's got a poleaxe strong against mounted units. Cool. That won't, that won't bite us in the butt. It'll be fine. It'll be totally fine. <laughs> the little shove mechanic is kind of fantastic. Oh, they're going to transform. I got to stop. Uh, who's my favorite character in the game so far? Probably Boyd. Um... Close seconds, uh, Shinon. Not because Shinon is particularly a good person or like. I just. Every time they're on screen, it's just ridiculous. Like every time. <laughs> Uh, you can have a little reset as a treat. Mages don't have penalty when moving on land? On sand? Huh. But they're also, like, real vulnerable. keep forgetting to tell them to not attack the enemy. See, but we made that ridiculous sword. Sometimes you want to feather someone. Yeah, see, he's ridiculous the whole time. Uh, we made her that ridiculous sword and that, that like, $4,000 sword. And now, um... And she was good with that sword. And now she's not good again. It's also Lance for sword. We're, like, off the... Let's deal with this. I can't believe that hit. That is ridiculous. It was like 27 or whatever. I can command the yellow units. Um... I keep I just keep forgetting to because I'm not used to that being a thing. And I have to do it with Ike, like I can't I can't do it with somebody else, so I just keep I just keep moving Ike and then forgetting. If I could just command from the menu, like that would be fine. This guy got, he's just a steel axe. All right, well, we're gonna save the. We're gonna have to heal some people. This guy's gonna get a shot in somewhere. Does anybody else need healing? No.
Or he's not gonna get a shot in somewhere. He just he just runs out there. Human form. He's just gonna punch him. Or do nothing. Eighteen times two is more than thirty-three. So I think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I'm doing I'm doing that big brain math. All right, so we got the houses. The houses are set. Let's uh, deal with these idiots. Nine times two, wow, wow. Uh, real bad. Let's uh, show her how it's done. 22 times two, this is a little bit better. Boyd, Boyd a little bit stronger. Can we get any of the magic users? Anybody in there? Nope. Nope, just can't, can't seem to do it. Okay. Please don't crit. Didn't command him. I keep thinking that, like, I can attack with Ike and then command. And it just does not work that way. Not what I wanted. <laughs> I feel like Ike's command commands should be available like from the menu. You know, like he should be able to can't command the yellow units from the orders submenu. How do I get to the orders submenu? Give orders with Ike and then attack. Yeah, I'm I'm just thinking for some reason my brain says, Oh, you gotta attack with Ike and then give orders. And it is not that. Now we can attack. Like, I keep thinking the free action of like, hey, stop, stop, stop doing that is, is like, we can do it at any time, but it's only when we have Ike, like once we attack, the turn's over for Ike.
We're just lining them up. Get a little XP going for mist. Level one. Not not doing so hot. This guy coming at us hard with a zero times two. <laughs> that was a weird... Oh no, Rolf! Oh no, Rolf. Oh no. Yar har ho. Wait, okay. All right. <clears throat> Yo ho har. Scallywag to the sea are we. We fight like beasts and men do flee. We earn our gold with axes bold. Yar, ye scurvy build rat. Why aren't you singing? Yar, over there. Nidada, fix your eyes on that. <laughs> what do you see is what I see. Yo, -ho -ho. what's this then? Humans battling humans here in Gallia? What in the briny beard of Shanty Pete is going on? Oi! Do you think they may be the king's curs out to capture and claim the bounty? Yahar! Shall we unfurl the mainsail and steer to the calmer waters? Bite your tongue, ye kelp brain midget. We're pirates! We don't just turn tail from the government scum. I'm going ashore. Watch me, you'll see a true sea dog in action. You're well said. You've set me blood a boil. I'm with you, matey, all the way. Yar, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can see that. I almost made it through. I almost made it through. Uh, Yar, me axe is sharp, me spirit's bold. Yar, har, ho. Ho, yo, ho, har. Shannon's shaking her head at me. <laughs> Base Shanty Pete for real. Alright, let's. These guys both have really good axes and we have speared units we have not thought this out If they're gonna get to that that place before we can. I don't know. Get him, Rolf.
Well, we're well within range. There's a choke point right here. We could put uh, Boyd and uh, hell yeah, hell yeah, we could soften them up. Um, we could put uh, Boyd and Ike right here. And create a choke point. Um, take a pot shot. I think we're done. I could have the the animal people go after the pirates, I guess. Ike doing work. They those guys. Animal people. Look. Look. What are they called? The Lagoos? I know what I'm talking about. Look, that's the important- that's the takeaway here is that I know what I'm talking about. Oh my god, more pirates. Just... the goddamn worst. Target? I wish these things were more- Roam, halt, target, avoid. Target. Oh, I can select a target. Can I? No, I can't. Direct. Roam, I guess? Okay. Yeah, they're Lagoos. You got it, got it. They all look the same to me? Come on. Come on! Man, I really... Really catch some bad beats sometimes. These guys not moving, huh? She's like totally... Just won't hit a target. Trying to figure out how to get this guy. All right. Yeah, Soren's going to take a hit. Mia's going to take a hit. We're all taking hits. It's fine. Can Mist reach them? No. I guess we'll move Rolf up. 
All right, let's see what's going on over here. We're visiting. Eek, humans. Uh, uh, come on. You're so rude. If you can't tell, I'm playing dead. Go away. Huh? Why? Because my mother told me, if you ever meet a beer rock, play dead, and it will leave you be. It's not true. Is it? Yes, I knew it wasn't true. I knew it. Well then, take this. Get out of here quickly. Hate humans. Don't want to talk to you. We got a restore. Why would you, why would you go this direction? Yeah, I, I used shove a little bit, but uh, there was no way we were going to get uh, mist to be shoved all the way up there. <laughs> it was going to be a lot of shoving. Um, all right. Night killer, arm scroll. He's lance, so we want axe. It's just, we could just move Boyd in there. Can I not? Wait, what? Oh. Weird. Uh, can we just... Like... Handle shit? We cannot just handle shit. Should have healed Ike before moving him in, but whatever, it's fine. Leveling up the healers is uh, difficult. It takes so many heals to gain them a level, and that's all they can do. Healers are always hard to level up. Just use the bonus XP until they can pack a punch. Yeah. Scallywags of the sea we are. <laughs> we earn our gold with axes bold. <laughs> Just got it intentionally. Yeah, even heal one. Yeah, yeah. That's what I've kind of realized. Is that like... You, you kind of have to. You're from Crimea, aren't you? I'm a warrior of the Beast Tribe. Lord Ranulf spoke to you. Spoke of you. Doubtless you have noticed that Fort Tatiana... Tatana 
Titana. Titana has been taken by Dayan forces. Watch your step around that bunch. There's a dangerous mage with them. Is there? We of the Beast Tribe find magic, especially fire magic, particularly threatening. I'm waiting for friends. Cannot leave, uh, cannot take leave of the house, but I'll give you this. If you use it, your magical resistance will increase. Oh, yeah, I'll help you fight the mage. Okay. Got talisman. Okay. All right. Let's uh, jump this dude. Rolf, get in there. Maybe, maybe not, Rolf. Maybe not, Rolf. Death to the rogues who defy day and defend our brethren, erase their shame. Nice, nice. Even heal one HP. Heal stats are cheap. Yeah, uh, race gets such magic. Uh, he can fully heal without the with the basic heal staff. Yeah, he gets good. I assume. Uh, she needs to be healed. Let's do that. Fourteen does not get the job done unless five also does not get the job done. Okay, all right, all right. Regal Sword does not get the job done. All right, we're just gonna send Boyd in. He seems like the most qualified. High magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Casual level for Boyd. Oh, can we? Oh. Oh. No. I was hoping Rolf would... Rolf, the madman. The killing blow. He has a javelin, though, right? Like, is next turn going to be bad for Rolf? Next turn might be bad for Rolf. I'm not particularly worried about this, but it is annoying that Oscar apparently can't hit any of them for some reason. Oh. Don't hit her again. Oh no. The sand increases a void. Tatiana is stealing all his hits. Yeah. Well, don't worry. We'll get another shot at it. <sighs> okay. All right. New plan. Mages take the wheel. Yeah, right. Soren has to eat it. Right? I, I, 
mistakes were made. <laughs> yeah. Look. <laughs> Mage is done lower move. Yeah, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to. Since we're just gonna do this over and over and over again tonight, let's just. Uh, Mage is all the way, right? Rally, halt, target, avoid. How, okay. How do, can I just... If I do order rally, will they all move towards me? I'm gonna try it. Everyone form up around me. Okay. No, it didn't do, it didn't do anything. Excellent. Very, very cool. Shove on horseback, unfortunately. Welp. I think one very special uh, healer is going to get a lot of work this round. On their turn, they would move? Could I have just, like, ended the turn there and they would have automatically moved? Because I did the thing and it didn't seem like anything happened. Get that steel sword out of the way. Might as well. I know it's not optimal, but like, whatever, who cares? Oh, he gets advantage. I was just not expecting that. Thank you. 
All right, we're optimized. We're do we're doing better. I feel like we're doing better. We'll see what happens with the mages. Yes. I was wondering if this was going to happen. Like, my mages would just be better. Rolf, put in, in, work. First battle, already a murder machine. How can anyone think to stop or contain him? <laughs> Soren shrugs it off. No problem. What's this dude's range? Can I get I, I hmm. We're just gonna put we're just gonna put it out there. Maybe, maybe not. Man, I'm such a coward. Just we just gotta get in there. We just gotta get in there. I really hope one of the mages doesn't die. I'm hoping that between these two characters, they don't like team up and murder one of one of my lovely characters. But I, I have a sinking suspicion that that is what's going to happen. Trying to create a line there so they don't, uh, the armored people don't break through. We'll see how this turn goes. I think one of our mages might maybe die. We'll see. Oh my god. Soren coming after him. It depends on if the pirate keeps moving to the to the uh, village, or if he turns and fights. I don't know what he's gonna do. Ike, you absolute monster! Oh. We still have to catch him, though. Which is a total bummer.
Oh no, Rolf. You were always the best of us. I wanted you to continue to be a murder machine. Did not work out that way. Trying to figure out who to put who to put on who. Uh Hicks just gonna kill this dude. We'll just armor slayer here. Nicely done. Gain that level. Put the wall up. Let's see if Boyd can just handle this. Uh, probably, right? Yeah. Why not? Uh, all right. Okay, mages were a bad idea. Mages are so weak, like, putting them on their own, I, I, uh, I just feel like it's a bad idea. Run it back. <laughs> Reese's that. Just send everyone down the beach. Yeah, he's he's like, I got you. Don't worry about it. Man, I felt like that round was going real well, too. It's a little bit of a bummer. I wish the uh, yellow units would move into the beach. Like, that's where I need them.
This guy is a bummer to fight. And Oscar would die, apparently. Is he still gonna die? He still might die. Who knows? Okay. Whatever. Who cares? It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm not going a little bit crazy. Everything's good. It's all it's all good. Mia just cannot do anything. Like, I can't use her for anything. Oh, come on. Twice the magic users missed. Twice. Come on, critical. Critical did not happen. Now, here's the question. Will Rolf die? Because I think that's who he's going to go after. Oh, I just realized what you said, Eric. Eric, just send everyone down the beach. Everyone. Well... I, man, uh, I feel like it's like, people call this an easy game, uh, it doesn't feel like it, like this is supposed to be a quote unquote easy fire emblem. Is it? It's slower but safer. I mean, it's that's what I read online. People online were like, this is an easy fire emblem. And I feel like I'm just losing units every round until I perfect it, you know? Just moving everybody. 
Everybody's going to the beach. We're all going to the beach. Compared to what? Other Fire Emblems, I assume. But, like... I had a much easier time with, uh... Uh... God, like, any other Fire... Like, the GBA Fire Emblems were a much easier time. Um... Three Houses, or, or any of the DS ones that I've played. I played um, a couple of them, and I, I feel like I, n I didn't have this much of a struggle. And the thing about this struggle is that it keeps feeling like... Like I'm right on the edge. Like, it's a good difficulty, but it is slightly frustrating. Because <laughs> it feels like I'm, like, right on the edge of knowing what I'm doing at all times, and then somebody will die. Rolf, get in there, my dude. He's an animal. Just use it. Maybe that's something the fandom says. Like, oh, this is an easy fire emblem. Uh, because the fandom is ridiculous, you know? Like, maybe they're just like... Oh, that one? Oh, oh, yeah, that was very easy for me. Yeah, that kind of, that kind of stuff. Crit 10. Boyd, handle it. Should have been you all along, my dude. My favorite. Um, is it just mounted units that get slowed down in the sand? It might just be mounted units. Because my regular units are moving fine. Oh, I gotta kill this guy. I've totally forgot about that. Brilliant tactician.
Nice. Get that magic up. I'll take that one point of magic. Get that blip. can't shove. I'm really trying to shove. Those guys are just going to chase me all day. Um, I was going to start moving uh, Boyd in. And then... Is there a way that I can kind of pick that dude off? <laughs> the shove animation is so ridiculous. I should give her a steel sword. What am I doing? I just realized that. Rolf, get it done. This guy's a monster. Oh, this dude is not going to go down pretty easy, is he? Oh, he has he has access to everybody, huh? Huh. Race, please survive. It's easy because of bonus XP? Yeah, maybe. God, is it going to be like this every time? Alright, new, new plan. New plan. Bash at the beach, more like Boyd at the beach. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to send Ike. A mage. And a healer to the beach. And we're going to see how we do. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, maybe I'm getting more cavalier at this point. Here's, here's the thing. Shannon was like... Shannon was like, do you think you can only stream for two hours because we're watching X-Files? And I was like, yeah, maybe. I'm trying to make some good progress. So far, it's been an hour 39. I have made zero progress. 
she really wants to watch X Files. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe we should just take Boyd to the beach and and send Ike to the to the uh, castle. Maybe this is our beach team right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Let's begin. I should have got her a sword. I just said it last time. Oh my god. I'm not a good commander. Look, there's a lot of responsibilities. A lot of people making accusations about things. About, you know, units being equipped or unequipped or whatever. And I just want you guys to know that I am not doing my best. All right, beach team, let's do this thing. You should have shoved, <laughs> used elf thunder on the guy. Oh, yeah, maybe I should have. Man, the shove. It's fine. Boyd's just gonna handle it now. So I can potentially shove Soren here. Yeah, okay, we're getting, I'm figuring out the movement and stuff now. You're right, you're right. It still doesn't do me any good, but whatever. I'm trying to think if I need her to kill somebody, and I think that I do. Unfortunately. At least Oscar, Oscar like dinged him. Alright, enough with these idiots. Let's go to beach team. That's where the that's where the magic happens. Boyd's just gonna run out there with an axe like a madman. It's gonna be fantastic. Don't hit me again, sir. 
Thank you. She should really be higher than level six. I could go after the pirate, but I think I can just get him next turn. Unless... Thank you, Boyd. That guy, perfect. Let's figure out what these idiots are doing. Couldn't even heal Soren all the way. Uh, all right. We want to lure this guy down here, so let's do that. Going full sap break and yeah. Quit dying, you cowards. Uh. The worst part is is like we know we know that beach team beach team is our jam and and the thing is is like as a commander you try not to play favorites but we are actively demoralizing uh forest team because everybody knows they're idiots everybody knows it it's it's you know not something that we got we're going to talk about a lot but like it is something that we all understand Are you kidding me? Beach team, I never had faith in you. Uh, she needs to go two spaces. She can't get shoved to finish this guy off. Oh my god. Beach team, you failed me. Is he going to blow up that house now? Do we even get anything in that house? Oh... Uh. I'm like, should we, should we restart? <laughs> I want all the goodies. Maybe we should just not get all the goodies. But I do want all the goodies. It might be harder because of the level distribution of your units. Yeah, it, that is probably a factor. <laughs> yeah, the fandom might be like, oh, it's easy once you know exactly what you're doing. You know what? We need to we need to prioritize. We need to prioritize killing that damn pirate. I had a chance and I didn't do it. Wait, no, we should have gone back to base. Um, can we shop from the screen or do we have to go back to the other screen? Uh, convoy. Take. There are no swords to take. Alright. Go back. 
manage, support. Where's the... Whenever I see outfit, I don't think, oh, that's how I'm going to put... Um, that's where I'm going to go shopping. I think that's where I'm going to choose outfits. Maybe just giving her a steel sword will make her a lot better. <laughs> let's let's hope for that. Let's hope for that. Um, all right. All right, we're back in the mix. The thing is, is like at this point. Is the stream unwatchable? <laughs> like, are we headed in that direction? Where it's just me playing the same fight over and over and over again? Like, at what point do we just straight up abandon? Uh... Fire Emblem? At what point is it like, oh no, this is a thing that I have to play in in the, you know, in, in my own home with my secret shame of constantly restarting. We could actually, let's, let's let those, let's let those guys do what they want to do. Fire Emblem. It's about secret shame. like Suicide Squad with A Squad and B Squad? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Somebody always dies. That's the problem. <laughs> or a feature? I haven't decided. Everyone restarts. It's the dirty secret no one wants to talk about. Yeah. Get out there, my dude. We in that dude's radius? Yes, we are. So, like, here's the thing. I can use Rolf to shove Sorin to put her in range of hitting this guy. But then Rolf falls behind, which I guess is fine, but it's like, I don't know. Steel sword, still not good. I mean, better, better than whatever, but like, uh, she just needs levels. Maybe this guy's just tough, like,
I've been getting these same levels every time. I kind of didn't want to have to do this, but I feel like this is the spot we're in. I mean, I guess our partners would have beat them up. I It sucks that I can't go back to the item screen and unequip her weapon, but so we're not going to... I was going to move her over here so that it would track that guy, but I can't yet. Like flatter. The flatters are the dirty secret? Listen, here's the thing about flatters. I don't know if you guys know this. Here, I'm gonna let you in so, on some comic stuff right now, okay? Some secret behind the scenes comic book stuff. Uh, flatters are literally propping up the industry, and you would be shocked as to how few flatters there actually are. Um,. Basically, so this is the thing. Deadlines happen, right? And with those deadlines, see, boy, just takes care of it. He just takes care of it. Uh, you know, writer might fudge deadline by a couple of days. Artist might fudge deadline by like a couple of days. Whatever, it happens. Ed good editors build this kind of stuff into the schedule. So it gets to the colorist and it's like, oh my god, we need it right now. And the only way the colorist can hit that is if they have flatters. And there are so few reliable flatters within the industry that like... Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Bernardo. Uh, that like... If like half of them quit doing flats, I feel like the industry would just collapse overnight. It's wild to think about. Thank you, Boyd. Eliana's getting better. Boyd's full health. Yeah, flatters. Flatters are underpaid for their role. Uh, I don't know that they are, because it's not like it's. It's just there's not a lot of them. You know what I mean? That are reliable. Uh, it's like, but I will say I I try to go out of my way to pay extra for my flatters. 
like because I appreciate them. Um, I think I paid, if not the top rate, one of the top rates for them. Um, do things go bad? Are things bad now? Because the reason that I, I feel like it's not they're paid well is because I think most people can do it if they want to do it. You know what I mean? But it's just there's not a lot of them. And I think I feel like if we lost half of them, the whole industry would just collapse. Come on, Oscar. Dude. I'm starting to get it with this shove stuff. I, w I thought that was like a mechanic that was uh, kind of useless, but it's got its uses. Freaking end that dude. Boy does need uh, health, though. We'll shove two spaces. I love it. I love it. I really thought the shove mechanic was going to be like a complete waste of time. Ike, please don't die. <laughs> that would be real bad. Do I need, like, another... Oh my god, I can't even... This whole shit. Oh my god, he's at 12. I feel like this pressure to just keep pushing, keep pushing up at the top. And, uh... Yeah, I just, I don't know. Oh, that wasn't the... Whatever. It's fine.
he will kill him. Well, will he? Yes. Not with that, though. I think I might have left Mist slightly vulnerable. Uh, you're flying Shag 3 now? You just want to die? <laughs> Feel you. I've I've been there, uh, Jay Husto. Trick of house said everyone on the beach clear all that, then move down into the woods. I appreciate that, but I am impatient and uh, bad at this game apparently. But maybe maybe moving a fourth unit, another combat unit, maybe not a mage. Like maybe that's my problem. These guys are going to take forever to get out of here, though. Maybe we have time. Maybe we have time. If Boyd doesn't die, then we have time. <laughs> is it is uh, Shag 3 just a hard book for you? Like a lot of line art? A lot of thin line? Please don't die, Mist. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, seriously, flatters are, are I ch I wish that I could get them credit on books, but um oh, that's real bad. Um but it's really it's really hard to get them credit on books. Even when I push for it uh on creator owned stuff, it's like eh, eh. people are people are weird about it for some reason. It takes longer, but it's harder to use. Or it's harder to lose units. I believe it. Uh, I just. I think because. I think because we've been. None of these guys have range, do they? Iron lance, steel sword, steel sword. I think because this is like our fourth time around on this. I'm like kind of impatient about getting it done. And we tried, we tried like running the beach and we still got kind of overrun. So, I mean, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's, oh boy, uh, Boyd didn't die. That's great. This is this is fantastic news. I'm gonna move here and heal him with mend. I'm kind of like, because I know that it's going to be these two idiots. This guy's level 18. This that was that's a real problem. Uh, I'm kind of thinking we move her out of here. She seems super vulnerable. We just let Boyd handle that. Move maybe move uh, Ileana in or uh, Tatiana. Ileana, we were moving out.
I'm not optimistic about the way this is turning out. The reason I'm not optimistic is because I don't think I can get Boyd to both uh, of the uh, buildings by the time the uh, extra pirates move in. And then I'm worried that the extra pirates are going to kill either Boyd or um, the healer that's up there. Although I guess I can move the healer out. I guess it's not that big of a deal. New to coloring, very slow going. Oh yeah, just, dude, practice, speed. Uh, the lines are pretty sloppy at times. I spent a lot of time cursing the artist. I've, I've cursed a few artists in my day. It's been uh, known to happen. We already saw this, got to restore, send it to the convoy. These are the only two we haven't used yet. I mean... That seems bad. Let's just, uh, yeah. Oh no! That guy's gonna get the talisman. Because I can't get there in time. Unless... I just murder him. Go, boy! Dang it! Oh. We might have to just be okay losing the weird talisman. Scallywags of the sea we are. We're in cold with our axes bold. Yep. Scallywags of the sea. Are we? An end like this quite worthy. Oh. Now we have to learn from our mistakes and uh, not put a bunch of idiots in the way. Just like take them down one on one. Oh, he's coming after me. Excellent.
Got the talisman. So, okay, we, all we have to really do is deal with this guy. And he has a javelin, so we can't get close. I feel like we just want to attack with Ike and like keep him healed up, um, but not put our healers in the way of uh, the other, uh, not put our healers in the way of him. Let's see, let's see how it goes. 12 he hits for. We need Boyd, which is, he's on the other side of the map. I mean, we could try it. We could try it. He's full health. All right, yeah, let's let's just get in there. See how it goes. So, you're the new commander. This is a different uh uh you the artist is you. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Boyd is good against him. Yeah, it seems like it cuz uh, you know, the weapons triangle. Um So, you're the new commander. Tell me, boy, what are your cowardly tactics? Do you employ to, uh, to fell our brothers? You must have deceived them. There's no way rabble like you could fight uh, day and troops in a fair fight. From the very beginning, every last one of you has underestimated our ability to hit the reset button. Will you never learn? Your refusal to recognize our strength of hitting the reset button will forever keep victory at arm's length. Silence. Silence, you idiot child. You're right. No more talk. All right, let's try to, Boyd's still moving. Oh, that's a, that's a menu. He's gonna attack me again. I'm gonna clap back. Ten hit points. All hit points. I could just move back. Can I just... No, I can't. He's got javelin equipped because he's a jerk. Just get him, Boyd. Boyd is a brick shit house. I think we can get there eventually by wearing him down this way. Oh, I'll take that level up. Yes, yes, please. He's down to seven. Can we finish him off? We can. Death to rogues, erase their shame. Got him. Uh, yeah, in the name of the empire, cleanse my shame. Got there. 
arm scroll. Alright. It sees it. We got there. Finally. Two, two hours, 21 minutes. Okay, the thing about this... Let me just... For a second. So we're getting our butt kicks the last the last stream. We got our butt kicked this stream. And it seems like a lot of trial and error to kind of figure out what your team is capable of in this given situation. Um, my problem is, is that, like, it was like, hold off the fort. And then it was like, we got jumped on the way there. It's like, these are not story battles. These are like filler battles. Like, I want some story. I want to feel like I'm making forward progress. Although, maybe people aren't idiots like me and maybe they just uh, uh cleared these battles easily but uh, i'm just really struggling with them i don't know we defeated their commander we still don't know what they were after seems unlikely they're merely pursuing the princess i wonder if dane is planning to invade Gallia. perhaps crimea was only a stone on which on which to wet their blades no matter the motive the fact remains that dane crossed the border under the circumstances, hostilities between Dayan and Galia could break out at any time. So it's war. Again. If war erupts between the Bayrock and the Lagoos, it's only a matter of time before the other nations become involved. Could Dayan truly mean to set the land aflame in a blaze of war? If that happens, many of our citizens will be sacrificed in the altar, on the altar of their ambition. We too need to choose which side to move and which side to take. Whose side? We shall never support Dayan. Unthinkable. Captain Tatiana, we are human. Would you truly have a side with these sub... with Lagoos against other humans? That's unthinkable. Be rocking Lagoos. Are you going to sit there and argue about the war that hasn't started? You be rocker are also timid. It's pathetic. With... You must not say such things. Mordecai, Leith, what do you think? Will it come to war? A closer sharp. If Dane invades Gallia, we are ready for battle. If our king wills it, war will come. I like it not. War brings pain, sorrow. This is troubling. Enough. We've lost much time. Let us make for the palace. We must reach tonight's camp before the sun sets. Is the palace still far? On, on your skinny b rock legs, it's very far, but we can do, we will do as we can. My skinny legs. Ooh. <laughs> I got my chicken legs. It's only a map painting. It's not the real castle. My Lord Ike, everyone, we made it to the castle, finally. Princess Valencia. I heard about Commander Grail. I don't know what to say. Don't worry, we're all right. We're getting by somehow. Oh, Ike. The king has arrived. Let's see this dude. Yes. Yes. He is everything I thought he would be. Um, hey there. Thank you for coming to Gallia Palace. I am K Kangas ruler of the kingdom of Gallia. These are the Grail mercenaries. I am Ike, their commander. You've been raised well, young pup. I didn't recognize you. What? When you were last here, you were a small child. Is that you, Tatiana? It's good to see you. The pleasure is all mine, your majesty. The two of you are friends? How does the king know me? Hmm, I have something... I have something I must tell you about your father, Grail. Leith, Mordecai, leave us now. Prepare room so our guests may have a place to rest and heal their wounds. At once, my lord. Would it be best if I were to leave as well? No, princess. I would have you stay. And this one will also stay. It's Gefka! Look at him! This is Gefka, my shadow. Pay him no more heed than you would the heir. I mean... You can be polite to him, I guess. Understood. I will completely ignore him. 
I would have Tatiana and Soren stay with me as well. Me? So be it. Where do we begin? Tatiana, how much did Grail tell his son? We're finding out secrets. Ike was raised with no knowledge of Galia whatsoever, nor does he recall ever, ever having been here. Is that so? Then it is best for me to tell him all that I know. Although, it is not much. That's all right. Whatever you can tell me would be much appreciated. I want to know more of my father. Hmm, you have good eyes, honest and brave. I see your father in them. Long ago, Grail, your father, worked as a mercenary for Galia. We forged a strong bond, he and I. To speak truly, I do not trust the Birok, but your father was different. Princess Alencia's father, King Ramon, and his, and his brother, Lord Renning, were also of a different kind. All were, or are, exceptional men. Men whom which we could put our trust. Oh, Tatiana, you are the exception as well. Among Birok females, you are unique. You are most gracious, your majesty. My father was a mercenary for Galia? Correct. And you and your sister, you were both born here in Galia. You stayed only for a short time, but part of your childhood was spent within these borders. The next level has more story. Huh. Mist and I were born here, is that so? I don't remember any of this at all. I feel your parents were carrying a dark secret. Someone was hunting them, I'm sure of it. Once over ten years ago, and after your mother had been slain, your father chose to leave Galia. Before he left, I went to him and asked him to share his tale. I asked him, why are you being chased? Is there anything I can do to help? But he was unable, but I was unable to loosen his tongue. And then I heard he had returned to Galia, and I thought I had another chance to hear his tale. His fate was black indeed. If I had been faster, if I had hastened my steps, perhaps things would have been different. Wait, now I understand. The voice I heard, that was you, wasn't it? His wound was fatal. I could do nothing. Thought it best not to interfere in his final moments, so I remained hidden. Tell me, Ike. At his last, did he confess anything to you? The identity of the Black Knight, did he reveal it? The Black Knight? No, I don't know who he was. My father entrusted me with his command, told me to trust King Kangas and to live peacefully in Gallia. He said to forget everything else. Is that so? Well then, let me do as I can. If any mercenaries desire to live here, I'll so arrange it. I will vouchsafe. I will vouchsafe them homes and land. Okay. Your kindness is truly appreciated. But speaking for myself, I couldn't live here in peace. Not now. I will avenge my father. I cannot so quickly forget the past or the Black Knight. But Ike, that's not... I know, I'm not strong enough. Gotta get stronger. An opponent who could defeat my father is well beyond my reach. But that's not why I've de uh, devoted myself to growing stronger. I will lead my father's mercenaries. I will prepare for the day when my choice, chance of vengeance arrives. Prudent course of action. You look as though... Uh, you look as one who would be more impulsive. But you are Grail's son after all. Huh, you matured, Ike. It seems like yesterday you were just merely a child. Tatiana. And now I would ask a boon of you. The strength of your mercenary band. Would you lend it to Princess Alencia? Are you serious? King Kangas. Galia and Crimea are allied nations. That cannot be denied. However, the alliance in, rea in reality binds only the royal families, it's not respected by our citizenry. The people of Gallia seldom s are seen in Crimea, are they? aren't they? Even though our nations are friends, the people of Crimea have little real understanding of the Lagoos. Yeah, we've encountered a little bit of racism. Many of our people still use the undignified name subhuman when they speak of the Lagoos. My father's heart was filled with shame and sorrow over what you describe. More than any king in our history, he wanted... Oh, man. You're really hitting us with it. He wanted to deepen the relations between our people, and then... Perhaps that's why Day and target him. Their hatred of the blues is well known. Could it be? In my heart of hearts, I'd like to take guardianship of Princess Alencia. 
and assist in the rebuilding of Crimea. Yeah, the music in this game is really, really good. However, anti bayrock sentiment is running here in Gallia. If we were to offer safe par harbor to Alencia, I feel many of our elder statemen would, would protest. Ugh. They would say we're a given day and an ideal excuse to attack. Which means Gallia can't afford Princess Alencia any relief at all. Is that it? Unfortunately, it's true. My lord. My lord Ike, King Kangas, has uh, advised for me to turn to the Bengo Bengoan? Benginan theocracy for aid in Crimea's restoration. He says we should make He said we should make of Begin a formal request and gain the support of their shields. Passage there will will require several months at sea. An escort might be necessary. As you know, we lack the numbers to serve as a complete mercenary army. So if the princess were willing to hire us as an ex escort, it would be an offer beyond our expectations. Titian, Soren, I think perhaps we should accept the king's offer. What do you say? It's what you want, right, commander? It's our job to follow you. However you wish to proceed is fine. I will do all my power to ensure that our road leads to success. Understood. As of now, the Grail mercenaries so shall assume the honor of serving as the escort to the Princess of Crimea. Princess Valencia, our journey together will undoubtedly be a long one. May we serve you well. Oh, thank you very much. I pray that I, in turn, will be worthy of your service. Man, everyone's long-winded. Chapter 10, Prisoner Release. Hey, Ike. Heard you're leaving. Going to, to begin. Man. Be, go, be going? It's like... It's like onion, but a G. In, it's like B, onion, in, but there's a G in there. I don't know, man. I'm struggling with this name. Hello, Renolf. I was hoping to see you. I want to thank you for everything you've done. I'm glad I had a chance before I leave. Well, aren't you the dutiful one? Sorry, it's starting to get late here. Sorry for the yawn. Hey, that reminds me. You were born here in Galia, right? Beg Neon. Alright, we can, we can do that. I heard there was something odd about you. You're awfully friendly for a B-Rock, you know. Oh, you might not know, but a B-Rock is what... I know what he means. It's what you call us humans, right? Oh, you knew, did you? Well then, uh, let me let you in on something else. When we use the word human, it means... Um, we mean it in much the way you B-Rock do when you call us subhuman. That's weird and needlessly confusing. It's an insult to be called human? I'm glad you told me. I never would have guessed. should warn you, if you run across any Lagoos, I'll call you that. Be careful. They're no friend of yours. That's that's a micro regression rules. <laughs> Heck, so I forget it. But I've digressed long enough. Let me explain why I'm here. Huh? We've had so much text and he hasn't gotten to why he's even here yet. Princess Alencia, about to have a moment of your time? Yeah, of course. The king asked that I give you this. Please accept it as a gift. What? May I ask? With, within the letter pouch, leather pouch is 20,000 gold pieces. Burak currency, of course. Oh, I truly appreciate this generous offer, but a gift of this magnitude, it's not something I can accept. King Kangas has done so much more than necessary already. This time... The king is ashamed that he cannot uh, provide personal support. Please, will you accept his apology and acknowledge his desire to aid you? But, no? Well then, let's try this. Yes? You accept the king's gift, then, as payment for conducting you safely to Gallia, you hand it over to Ike. Come on, Renolf. You can't expect her to accept this. It's an outrageous fee, no matter how you look at it. 
20,000 gold pieces for the life of a princess? Pers perf perfectly reasonable. In fact, it almost borders on insulting. Yo, freelancer, take the money. Consider how you have suffered. The lives we have lost. Ten. No, a hundred times this amount would be unreasonable. I have reconsidered. I will accept the kindness. In turn, I present it to my Lord Ike. Will you accept it? I will. I'll totally accept it. No, my Lord Ike. It is I who must thank you. Got the gold. I clicked through that gold real quick. Well, now it's settled. Let's move on. Unfortunately, we don't have any ships here in Gallia. If you were, were to find a ship that would take you to... Uh, Big Neon. Big Neon? It's like N I O N is so straight. Big Neon? Sure. We must return to occupied Crimea. If there's no other way, we'll just have to risk it. No matter how cautiously you proceed, you're starting to run into day and forces. Keep that in mind. I understand. It's too bad we're so short on, sh on soldiers. Still, there's not much we can do about that now. However, I will review our supplies carefully before we depart. Oh my god, we're still talking to our elf. In regard to your personal problems, the king has decided to lend you what aid he can. Leith, Mordecai. I will join you. Mordecai and Leith, both of you, are you sure? None of the others could stand the idea of traveling with humans. I myself tremble it with loathing at the thought of going to Big Neon, but... When the king gives an order, obedience is the only option. That may be, but having witnessed the combat prowess of the Galleons for myself, I know how fortunate we are. We will not fail you. I have no intention of becoming friends. Do not forget that and stay out of my way. Yeah, Leith is not my favorite. Not by a long shot. <laughs> you must forgive, Leith. Uh, her tongue cuts as deep as her claws. I will return once I reported to the king. While I'm gone, please finish your preparations for departure. Very well. The game's really like, hey, you're out of combat now? Here's an hour and a half of cutscenes. <laughs> like, here's the summary of our last battle. We made that money. Got some bonus XP as well. There are no casualties. No one suffered permanent in injury. We fought excellently. Yeah, as we just learned about the term humans, yeah. Uh, Leith gets good character development if you stick with her. Yeah, I mean, we can see her arc coming like a mile away. All right. Uh, how long have I been streaming? An hour? hour 39 or two hours 39 this is a long one um we're gonna save it here and we are going to play some more on sunday uh hopefully actually sunday um uh hey yeah so we're gonna play some more on sunday um tomorrow i'm playing some uh Arcade games with the Boyks on his channel. That's twitch.tv slash the I can uh, drop it in here. Um, I believe that is the correct. Yeah, yeah. So uh, if you want to uh, check that out, we're probably going to play around 9 p.m. Eastern. Um, I think we're going to play some Giga Wing. Uh, I'm not sure what else we're going to play. I kind of want to play some Metal Slug X. Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what we end up playing. Um, I think, I think I have a light week coming up, so we might try to do some art stuff. Uh, I got to do something that I'll, I can do in maybe like one sitting. Maybe we'll continue to draw some comics. Maybe we'll do some coloring. I'm not sure yet. Um, I'll probably put a post up on Twitter, uh, like asking what people want to see. If you have a preference, you can follow me on Twitter at Nick Phil and, uh, you know, cast your vote. Um, until then, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. 
Uh, thanks for hanging out, everyone. And thanks for everyone who's uh, chatting away. Uh, I feel like, man, I feel like I'm uh, not great at Fire Emblem, or this is just a hard one for me. I uh, appreciate everyone's support. Yeah.